Welcome back guys to another episode of Next Gen VR. Today I want to talk about walking in VR and the many solutions that you can find out there. And so I will be going over a very interesting project and that is called motorized VR shoes. This has been attempted by many people but uh, there's only a couple that have really succeeded in this and I wanted to show you guys what it, this looks like. So let's jump into the next generation. So walking in VR has been a very common issue. How do you able to walk in an environment that is limited in space? How do you walk infinitely? And so there have been many attempted solutions at this. The first of such was the Omni treadmill, which people found to be unnatural due to the friction and other stuff, and also very bulky, expensive, and heavy to move around. So uh, over time, this got better and better to the point where we now have things like the Catwalk C, which you can see here is the most popular walking solution right now and they claim it feels natural but there are still many other solutions being worked on and then we also found solutions like infinidec omnidirectional treadmill which targets enterprise customers and so all of these treadmills have their downsides first of all you're limited in how much freedom of movement you have especially if you're on a harness like in the catwalk series catwalk mini catwalk c um, and previous generations of VR treadmills, like uh, I've mentioned before. Then we had solutions like the Cyber Shoes, which let you walk or run in VR while sitting in a chair. And this does not feel exactly like actual walking in VR. And so the solution involved using a special carpet and shoes with a rollerblades underneath. And this can help with motion sickness, but it doesn't really simulate well being able to walk in VR. So there are upsides and downsides to each solution. So for the Catwalk C, some downsides include that you're strapped to a harness and you have to really learn how to walk. It's a new kind of sensation. It's also still expensive and out of reach for most people at $1,000 and very expensive shipping due to having to ship a very large uh, crate. And so you would need to also bring a friend with you to help carry it inside your home. So. This isn't something that's really portable and it's been really hyped up on VR channels but I personally think that something much simpler and cheaper could be a better solution than this. And so now let's talk about motorized VR shoes. Jamie Heinemann attempted to make virtual reality shoes many years ago and he's even started a crowdfunding campaign which fell short of the goal. And there were many challenges to making motorized VR shoes from being able to know how to balance the person to, um, to all other kinds of uh, issues. So this isn't an easy solution. And so now let's go over a few people who I believe have found promising solutions to this problem. And of course there are many who have also failed at doing this. So the first solution to walking in VR that I've seen with, with motorized VR shoes is this solution where instead of having the shoes follow you when you lift your legs, your legs lift while the machine stays put. And while this solution looks interesting, it is still bulky and not perfect. So, so now for a couple solutions that look promising. We have uh, WeVR who made these shoes that appear to move smoothly and seem less uh, of an issue but he hasn't been making new videos lately so probably uh, going to be more updates in the future and then i came across the most interesting solution which is vr shoes made by ashley who is active on the pimax forum and has been working on this for at least a year now and so here's the latest prototype that he's showed off you can see that he's able to walk and turn and it senses when he stops his movement and he's walking on this uh, platform. Now he says that this isn't like perfect yet, there's still a lot of work to do and so this is a prototype but, and it could be many months or years before we see something like this in the market but the fact that many people are working on this and that there's been already great solutions looks very promising. Something like this that lets you walk in VR for cheap without 
having a bulky system like the Catwalk C is something that is very exciting. And so I'm looking very much forward to what future VR can bring in these technologies. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be providing links in the description below for um, these YouTube channels I recommend following for the latest updates on these uh, users who are working on these VR shoes. So uh, thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time.